Lately, there has been a lot of speculation among gold rush enthusiasts regarding the romantic connection between Rick Ness and Morgan Lauren. In this video, we'll examine the rumors, set the record straight, and take a closer look at. Does Rick Ness hook up with Morgan? Amid Rick Ness's departure from the Yukon and Morgan Lauren's introduction in season 14, rumors began circulating about a potential romantic involvement between the two. Fans were curious about the nature of their relationship, particularly given Morgan's gender. However, Rick Ness took to social media to quash these speculations, emphasizing that their connection is purely professional. Addressing the romantic rumors, he stated, the talk about me being in a relationship with one of my new crew members, Morgan, is just that, talk. In fact, he clarified that he didn't know her before she joined his team. Introduced and recommended by a friend, he brought her on board because she excelled at her job. Given the challenges of his previous season, where he went missing, having a competent crew is crucial. In Gold Rush Season 14, Morgan, a native of Palmer, Alaska, joins Rick's crew. Professionally, Morgan Lauren served as an environmental specialist at Pacific Environmental Corp before making the decision to move to the Yukon and venture into mining. Having spent a decade as an oil field equipment operator, Morgan decided to make a significant career change and try her hand at gold mining. On the show, she expresses her ambitious goals, mentioning her desire to potentially open her own mining claim one day. Morgan is well-versed in the necessary steps and requirements and has a genuine passion for the process of gold washing. At first glance, it appears that Lise and Rick Ness have parted ways, and the prospect of them reigniting their relationship seems unlikely. However, Rick dropped a hint that suggests they might reconcile, or, at the very least, are in communication. The Gold Rush star mentioned, She's very happy with all of the improvements I've made. With Morgan not being romantically involved, it seems that for now, Rick is not actively pursuing romance with anyone other than, perhaps, Lise. Previous rumors linking him with Carla Ann Charlton have faded, and it turns out he was never married to Jen Ness. She reportedly married Rick's brother, Randy. In the comments section, one follower stated, I didn't think Morgan and him for a second. However, it's understandable that people have questions. A different commenter highlighted, many individuals did, just as they insist on Tyler and Parker being connected, despite her being in a long-term relationship. If there were any doubts about whether Rick and Lise had rekindled their relationship, fans simply had to check out her social media. In her Instagram post caved in New River, Arizona, Lise M. Airy wrote, Blessed and happy holidays from Rick and I. The heart emojis accompanying the post pretty much convey the message. Rick and Lise both shared nearly identical photos, with Rick donning a black and yellow plaid shirt, geek glasses, and his usual baseball hat. Lise, on the other hand, sported a brown and gold plaid mini wrap skirt, a long-sleeved white crop top, and thigh-high brown suede boots. The couple appeared cozy next to each other, surrounded by a plethora of stuffed snowmen elves and even a Santa and sleigh in the background. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Gold Rush channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The human spirit frequently finds itself embroiled in the complexity of passion and desire when it is placed in the harsh environment of the Klondike where the chase of gold controls every element of life. The interactions amongst the cast members of the blockbuster show Gold Rush, which airs on the Discovery Channel, are frequently as unpredictable as the terrain that they mine. And the enigmatic relationship between Rick Ness, the experienced miner with a heart of gold, and Morgan, the determined crew member whose presence generates sparks of wonder and conjecture among fans of the program, is at the core of this narrative. Morgan is the one who is the subject of the fans' speculation and curiosity. As the cameras continue to roll and the drama continues to unravel, viewers are left wondering, 
Is it possible that Rick and Morgan share more than just a professional connection? Is it possible that their mutual interest in gold mining may result in anything more significant than a simple friendship to develop between them? We need to go into the lives of these two people and investigate the complexities of their connection within the context of the high-stakes world of gold mining in order to solve this case. Known for his determination and depth, Rick Ness is a man of gold mining who has a number of problems, and Rick Ness is no stranger to them. He is a seasoned veteran of the Klondike, and he has weathered the highs and lows of the industry with unshakable drive and resilience by virtue of his years of experience. The path that Rick has taken has been one of self-discovery and development, beginning with his early days as a novice miner and culminating in his elevation to the position of respected leader within the Gold Rush family. On closer inspection, however, Rick is a man of depth and complexity, despite his rough demeanor. A heart that is capable of tremendous feeling and vulnerability can be found beating beneath the grime and sweat brought on by working in the gold fields. Moreover, it is precisely this vulnerability that attracts other people to him, resulting in the formation of connections that go beyond the superficial level of friendship. During the course of his time on Gold Rush, Rick has developed strong bonds with his fellow miners, becoming a dependable source of support and direction for those who are under his direction. Nevertheless, in the middle of the mayhem that is the mining season, there is one relationship that stands out among the rest. His connection with Morgan, a fellow crew member whose presence left an everlasting impact on Rick's heart. Strong and self-reliant, Morgan is a woman of great strength. Within the realm of gold mining, which is controlled by men, Morgan is a formidable opponent to be reckoned with. As a result of her fiery personality and unyielding resolve, she has carved out a place for herself among the crew members of Gold Rush, garnering the respect and admiration of her contemporaries along the way. Morgan, on the other hand, is not only a great miner, she is also a woman of courage and independence who is not afraid to design her own way in life. The journey that Morgan has taken has been one of self-discovery and empowerment, beginning with her early days in the Klondike and culminating in her ascension to become an important part of Rick's crew. Morgan refuses to be restricted by the expectations of society, despite the fact that she is a woman working in a field that has traditionally been controlled by men. She is driven to push the limits of what is possible, and she inspires people around her to do the same. Her enthusiasm for gold mining is a fire that burns brightly. In the midst of her dogged chase of money, however, Morgan finds herself struggling with feelings that she under no circumstances imagined were conceivable. An experienced miner named Rick Ness, whose presence ignites a fire inside her that she is unable to ignore, is at the center of all that is going on. The connection that is not spoken, inquiring into the relationship between Rick and Morgan, it was impossible to deny the strong chemistry that existed between Rick and Morgan from the minute they first came into contact with one another on the gold fields of the Klondike. Whether it was the way their eyes met across a crowded mine site, or the shared laughter that resonated through the wilderness, there was a connection that went beyond the constraints of their professional relationship. This connection was beyond the scope of their professional relationship. However, as the days turned into weeks and the weeks grew into months, Rick and Morgan found themselves in a situation where they were traversing unfamiliar ground and struggling with feelings that neither of them could fully explain. As they navigated the precarious boundary between friendship and something more, they were caught between the pressures of their jobs and the yearnings of their emotions. When Rick was working in the harsh and chilly world of gold mine, Morgan was a source of light and warmth for him. Her chuckle was like music to his ears, and her grin was a ray of light in the midst of the most difficult of circumstances. Even though he made an effort to resist the developing desire he felt toward her, he was unable to escape the notion that she was destined to be a part of his life in ways that he had never anticipated. Morgan, on the other hand, 
found that Rick was a constant presence in the middle of the mayhem that was the gold fields. He was a source of strength and stability that she was unaware she required. His generosity and compassion moved her in ways that she was unable to articulate, reawakening sensations within her that she had repressed for a considerable amount of time and pushed to the surface. And despite the fact that she made an effort to keep a professional distance from him, she was unable to resist the draw that she felt towards him, the magnetic attraction that brought her closer to him with each passing day. The unrelenting chase of gold, however, presented Rick and Morgan with a predicament that threatened to drive a wedge between them, despite the fact that their relationship was just beginning to develop and was fraught with uncertainty. The mining season had reached its peak, and the pressure to provide results was increasing. As a result, they were compelled to face the truth of their situation, and they had to measure the cost of following their hearts against the demands of their profession. Do Rick and Morgan find love despite everything that is going on? That is the heartbreaking truth. Due to the fact that the season of Gold Rush is drawing to a conclusion and the final cleanouts are on the horizon, Rick and Morgan find themselves at a crossroads. They are struggling with the weight of their emotions and the uncertainty of their future. With each passing day, the tension between them increases, and the longing that they have not expressed to one another hangs thick in the air. Rick and Morgan, however, find consolation in each other's arms, seeking refuge from the storm that is raging around them. Despite the fact that they are in the midst of the chaos that is the gold fields, the demands of their labor, and the pressures that are associated with their trade. Their hearts hunger for something more than the fleeting moments they slip away together. And during the quiet minutes that occur between shifts and cleanouts, they steal glances at one another and hold hushed discussions. And as the final cleaning draws near and the gold totals are tallied, Rick and Morgan find themselves in a position where they must make a decision. They can either pursue their ambitions of being wealthy in the Klondike, or they can follow the wishes of their hearts and accept the love that burns inside them. At the conclusion of the film, as the credits roll and the cameras fade to black, the future of Rick and Morgan is still unknown, and their future is hanging in the balance. One thing, however, is abundantly obvious in the middle of the anguish and the uncertainty. The human spirit is capable of withstanding even the most difficult of tests, and love has a way of finding its place in the midst of the chaos that is life in the Klondike.